this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to talk about the tips to overcoming dietary addictions. Now, a phrase we often hear is, moderation is key. Now, this is usually said in reference to certain foods and other pleasures. And while this may apply very appropriately to other areas of life, it certainly does not apply for most addictions, including food. Using moderation as a means to escape the dietary pleasure trap is likely to end in failure. In other words, the statement, everything in moderation is healthy, just simply does not apply for things that are known to be unhealthy and addictive. You see, when treating other addictions, such as treating alcoholics or drug addicts, moderation of their alcohol intake or drug dose is never used or never recommended for the simple reason that it simply does not work. Now this strategy has never been successful in treating these addictions and it certainly will not work for food addictions either. You see, for addicts, it's actually torture to do this because you're introducing the addictive substance. When you do that, it stimulates the release of a hormone called dopamine. And dopamine has often been referred to as the pleasure hormone because it really does create a sense of pleasure. And so by doing this, you actually are stimulating the dopamine and it creates the cycle of wanting more and more and more. And this is actually how the addiction started in the very first place, whether it was drugs, alcohol, or food. You try a little, you find out you like it, and then you end up wanting more and more. And before you know it, you're hooked. So to have a success rate of 100% in treating something like alcoholism, alcohol must be eliminated 100%. And the same thing goes for drugs. With food, however, it's not quite so simple because you can't just quit food. Obviously, you need food to survive. But it's an important to make the distinction is you absolutely can quit the addictive foods. You see, successful treatment entails reprogramming the person to not have any desire at all for the object of addiction. And this can only come from a change in attitude, which will not come about if you continue to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, of that addicted sub substance. So as with many aspects of optimal health, attitude is so very critical. And in the case of food addiction and obesity, the objective is to eliminate the stimulating effects of heavily processed foods. And therefore, by taking that out, you're going to decrease that amount of the dopamine secreting portion of the brain. You want to decrease that stimulation as much as you can. And the only way you can do that is by eliminating these addictive foods completely from your diet. Now this opens the door to retaining really good health and attaining optimal weight by shifting the diet exclusively to a healthy one. This healthy diet is ideally composed of plant-based foods, such as vegetables and fruits, along with a smaller amount of nuts and seeds, and then plenty of grains and beans. Ideally, all animal products should be eliminated from the diet, or at the very least, consumption should be extremely limited. And although those animal products may be part of the dietary trap, or they may or may not be part of the dietary trap, they have other adverse effects on the health, which are best avoided by eliminating these entirely from your diet. So by adopting such a diet based on the grains and fruit and vegetables and legumes, and if you can combine that with exercise and sufficient rest, weight management will come very easily to you. In fact, it's estimated that if such a combination is used, you can look forward to losing a minimum of one to two pounds a week on a consistent basis until you reach your optimal weight. And it must be stressed that this loss of weight will occur as long as you do follow this plant-based nutritional plan. And on this plan, you can eat as much as you want. Portions are not limited. So this is something that's important to understand about dietary addictions. If you incorporate these tips, you can indeed make some great progress towards overcoming your food addiction. First of all, focus on getting that mindset right and then begin to take positive actions. Your body and your mind will Thank you for the efforts. Now I hope you found this interesting and reflect upon this and 
move in this direction if you yourself actually are suffering from a food addiction. This is Dr. Gianna Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.